My name's James and welcome to R&R, the show where I react to and review some of the latest and greatest music videos. Today, I'll be checking out Into the Drone by The Cost. Let's go. Really nice, strong start. However, I'm real sorry to pause it here, but something I found that really annoys me, I don't know if this annoys anyone else, but I really can't stand it when on an official music video, you get the cards popping up in the top right hand corner there, sort of linking to other things. That's just a real annoying pet peeve. Again, really sorry to pause it so early in because yeah, that intro really hits super hard. But yeah, bands, please stop putting the cards off. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, focus on, on your artwork and there's these little cards popping up in the top right. Stop doing that, please. Mm. Pretty damn good so far. Something that sort of came apparent in reacting to and reviewing the Costs first single was that, you know, there would be a little bit of a genre shifting or a, a, a mixing of genres when it comes to, you know, sort of like as each of their singles gets released, there'll be sort of slight variation. And also something that I mentioned during reviewing that first single from The Cost was that, you know, I was expecting something a bit heavier, a bit more in the prog metal, genty groove metal sort of subgenre of metal. And we definitely get that much more prominent here. However, what we also get is still really quite a great song. I, I do feel because, you know, with that first single, you know, it was even in their words, you know, a little bit sort of like hot off the presses, both from a songwriting standpoint and production standpoint. So definitely, you know, the production on this one, it's it's that little bit more finessed and, and higher production quality. However, the songwriting, there's still a really good song there so far, but again, there is just a little bit more finessing with, you know, some of these extra little bits of, I guess, more of that, yeah, sort of like progressive metal style where, and, and particularly I would say like when it comes to Estepario's drumming, some of those fills, there's there's much more of a finesse to the fills. There's much more finesse to some of the sort of like connecting sections from say the end of the chorus going into that sort of like re Preve of the intro, you know, there was that, yeah, nice little sort of like section where everything's very syncopated. So this is kind of, yeah, showing that so far, you know, two songs in from the cost, 
that there is definitely potential for, again, some really great songwriting, but just under this umbrella of the metal genre or just general heavy music genre. Obviously the production quality on the video as well is, is quite nice. There's a little bit more going on. You know, it's, it's on a, it's on location. So that's nice as well. However, for me, at least it is still missing some storytelling elements in the film clip. Again, something that I'm definitely going to have to pay more attention to is these lyrics to really get a grasp of what the story of the lyrics is or what the purpose and meaning behind the lyrics is. But yeah, musically, so far, I'm, I'm in. I really am enjoying this vocalist's tonal shifts. <laughs> the shift to the red there that was really cool that was a nice little little shake up for the the video clip i think and very effective as well I think that's most important, very effective. Again, uh, I don't know, I, I really do love this vocalist's tonality, the, and as I said, you know, the, the shifts from, I guess, a, a, a kind of lighter chest voice to that real sort of like belting style that he, he, he transitions to into the chorus there. I really am enjoying that. However, maybe it's the mix, maybe it's just because there is so much going on musically, but the one thing that I am finding is that it is a little bit difficult to follow along with the lyrics or at least the intelligibility of the lyrics. That's the only thing for me. Maybe that's just a me problem that, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of struggling to both discern what he's saying and then, you know, move that into yeah sort of the narrative or figure out the narrative yeah that that's maybe the only the only small thing here for me so far is really just you know i love the vocalist's style his approach his his delivery but yeah i just can't quite discern the lyrics or at least you know yeah get get the story of the lyric again maybe it's just a me thing Nice.
I do really love that at the end of a music video where there is a little credits card, you know, it really just shows, you know, sort of all the work that's gone into not just the song, but to put the clip together, you know, I think it's, it's something really which every music video should have. It's just yeah, a simple card like that we got at the end of this one, just showing you who was involved in the making of it. It, it really is just a, a, a small touch of appreciation for yeah, all the hard work. So I'm definitely going to say you know, this second single from the cost you know, into the drone, it, it, it definitely still has a lot of what that first single, I think, really attracts me to the band, you know, makes me want to follow the band, come back for more. And for me, that really comes down to the fact that it is just overall, if you strip that umbrella away, you know, and, and, and sort of like the big heavy guitars, you know, the some of Estepario's great drumming. I think if you strip all that away and and just play this song you know, acoustically, uh, I do feel there is enough interesting elements in there to still keep it a really good song. As for the music video clip, however, that's where it is leaving a little bit left to be desired. Obviously, you know, two singles in, independent band, you know, beggars can't be choosers, but yeah, that that's just where I really do hope that moving forward with with more singles as they get released, that there is a just a bit more going on with the music video clips. Something simple. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, particularly in this age of AI generated art. You know, there, there's so much that you can do on a very small budget. And that that's where I think maybe the band, the cost should start looking just to, to, to really enhance these music video clips. I think with that first single, that was just a really good way of introducing the band as a whole. Whereas this one, again, we, we don't get anything new uh, from that standpoint, but we also don't quite get, you know, what, what I think a really good music video should do. And that is enhance the art of the song. Add almost a second life to the song. You know, I can listen to this song whenever, wherever, but I can't always watch the music video clip. And I think a music video clip should really be about, yeah, adding, adding extra life to it, adding extra context to the song as well. You know, I almost see a, a good music video as being not an accompaniment to the song, but almost like, it's almost sort of like if, if the song is the main artwork, you know, if you go to an art gallery and you see an art, a piece of art up on the wall, you know, you can look at it, you can interact with it, maybe depending on the style of artwork and you can make your own opinions of it, but then there might be a little blurb card next to it or even a QR code in these modern times that you can scan and get, you know, the, the artist's interpretation, the artist's, you know, reasoning behind creating the artwork. And I feel that's what a music video should do. A music video should, yeah, give you that extra bit of context or reasoning behind the song or about the song, about the narrative of the song the purpose of the song. And unfortunately, we just don't quite get that here. You know, we just get the band playing, well, even not even that, just miming to their own song. And realistically, like the only sort of creative elements was definitely that, that lighting switch in the breakdown and some of those small cuts where, you know, you had the band 
Uh, it, well, you had the vocalist you know, sort of standing in front of the tree, and then later on you had the other two members also standing in front of the tree, but one looking left, one looking right. So that's the real letdown for me on this one is that, you know, I, I want just a bit more to these music videos. But as I said, you know, two songs in, independent band, you know, probably throwing all of their own money, their hard earned money that they've potentially, you know, made at day jobs at this project. So, Again, beggars can't be choosers. All right, that's it for me in this one. Be sure to let me know what are your guys' thoughts of Into the Drone by The Cost. And was I being a little bit too harsh in this one? Let me know down in the comments. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out one of these other videos that is appearing before me. and You'll catch me in the next one.